Hey everybody, <clears throat> um, as you can see, Maggie's not here, this is uh, Steve coming at you again, live, doing a vlog, I almost stopped vlogging after what happened, I'm sure a lot of you subscribers read about the crap we've been going through. Uh, lately, um, but yeah, it's official, I caught her cheating, so, she's moved out of the house, well, a lot of her, everything's here, but, she's gone, for the night, at least, um, and I'm probably never gonna have her back, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do about the house, because her name's on the mortgage as well, I don't even know where to begin, so, Hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to sleep tonight, but yeah, um, I just, I was asleep, I woke up and then started crying a lot and I'm just going to try to fall back asleep now, but I thought I'd go ahead and lay it all out exactly what happened because I know if I don't. I'll never hear the end of it. It's really not avoidable anyways. Um, basically, um, came home the other day, and she's on the couch, and she's backspacing, backwindowing out of her phone to get out of whatever she was in, and normally wouldn't think anything of that but um here lately it seems like she's just been disconnected and not really in our marriage uh, which is weird because she, you know i've had business meetings and stuff and she's always been the one that was suspicious of something like that so um she would asked me like would I ever hurt our kids by leaving the marriage blah 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 and of course my answer always no I would never do something like that so um <clears throat> she uh was that made me suspicious because of just how distant she's been lately. So I tried to play it cool, but I was getting nervous because I don't want to think about my marriage being over or anything like that. Um, but she got up to do something, and I um ashamed to admit, because it's an invasion of her privacy, but I picked up her phone. I mean, I pay the bill on it, so... I mean, how you gonna disrespect me to my face? So, I figured if she's talking to somebody... I mean, I wanna know about it. Because I'm not sharing that booty cootie with anybody else. And I'm not trying to be funny, but... <sighs> she, um had a lock on her phone and that's not the case because I've used her phone to take pictures and stuff before and I can just like slide it over and it unlocks or it's open but she had a lock on her phone and I tried a couple different pin numbers and they don't work well <clears throat> I played it cool, put her phone back down. I noticed she got on her phone, and I was kind of eye-fucking her from the corner of my eye, my peripherals. And I noticed that to get in her phone, you just hit seven. So I was like, hmm, just the number seven, what could that mean? Because I'm only four inches. So... Um, which probably I assume has nothing to do with her losing interest in the marriage because she always told me that four is plenty. She she would say things like four inches is a mouthful. Anything over that 
<clears throat> you're coming back for seconds, and who wants to do that, right? And I, I guess she's just sweet like that. So, anyways, probably shouldn't have told you that. But I think that bitch deserves to have her dirty laundry aired out at this point. Well, she, um, next day, I noticed her phone there again, so I couldn't help myself. I hit seven, and, um, I noticed, and one of, and her phone opened up, and there was a text message log, um, between her and some guy named Dave. So I just went to the top and was reading about they had fun at work and can't wait to see each other at work the next day. And then I scrolled down. The conversation went to we should go out to lunch there again. So I'm like shaking and upset at this point. This has been a couple of days ago and I have had a little bit of time to calm down. I just kept reading. I read down and I skimmed through a few more. And the texts were very graphic. Um, she was saying things that like she would has already or wanted to do with him. Things that she'd never done with me. Um, so that kind of made me feel jealous in that sense too. That this Dave guy um, could possibly get... Well, basically she's... I'm sure she's there with him tonight and I read the conversation and their intentions. So right now she's doing probably doing things with him right now that she would never try with me. Like, well, like taking it in the ass and, and licking ass. I've tried to give her, I've tried to get her to give me a Remy ever since I've known her. And she's always said, no, that's gross. But with this guy, she's literally texting him. I can't wait to pick the corn out of that cornhole with my teeth and floss with your anal hairs. I thought that was absolutely sexy. But I felt so nervous, like obviously that's not directed at me she's saying this to some other douche nugget so obviously just i just became really like sad then i went from like sad to furious and i didn't confront her about it because i was scared i was just like telling myself maybe this is like some kind of bad dream i'm stuck in maybe um it's they're just sexting um i scrolled down a little bit more and um they had apparently already hooked up. So, um, put her phone down right away. Um, eventually, though, I did confront her. I said, look, I know about Dave. And she said, um, she kind of broke down in my arms and started crying. She said, you know, I've ignored all the obvious signs and that made her go into the arms of another. And I was like, look, I know that you're that kind of chick that would cheat on me and stab me in the back because do you remember Scooter? And she's like, who am I talking about? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I said, look, two years ago, the guy that you were flirting with and sexting was my friend, and we did that to see if you were that kind of a germ bag. And guess what? You're a dirty, filthy, Jerry Springer scumbag nasty. I don't want to say what's really on my mind, because um, a lot of my videos are shown to kindergarten classes, and this one definitely will be as well. So I can't say cunt, but that's what I'm thinking of saying, but I won't say it. Um, <clears throat> so... I was like, Maggie, we got the three kids, the seven dogs, and the fucking iguana, and you're just going to walk out on all that. She said, no, I'm not walking out on any of that. I'm keeping the kids, and I'm keeping the iguana, but you can have the dogs, because Jim doesn't like dogs. And I'm like, Jim, who the is Jim. I'm Steve. 
you were going to sleep with Scooter. That never happened because he wasn't in on it. Then she stopped me right there and she said, that did happen. I did have sex with Scooter. I said, okay, we know you're probably hooked up with Dave. Now you're telling me you hooked up with Scoot Scoot. Who the f*** is Jim? And she said, that was a slip. I thought we were talking about him. I'm also having an affair with him. And, like, I would have got really mad and, like, been to the, my breaking point, And I would have, like, punched her out. But, as you're well aware, she's twice my size. She's taller than me, even. I mean, this bitch is a whale of a chick. So, but I'm going to miss my whale. I'm going to miss... I'm going to I'm going to flip out is what I'm going to do. So I'm thinking about buying a gun or at least an imitation gun that looks scary cuz I'm afraid of guns. But so she said, "Well, I'm leaving." And I'm like, "By the way, what does 7 mean? Why just 7 on your phone?" She said, "That's how big what was his name? She said some other guy's name. She's like, that's how big um, Ross, I think, or Reeks, Re that's how big Ross is. I'm like, big, like his, his pecker's seven inches big. And she's like, yeah, it's like, I mean, I'm a four. That's a pretty long pecker. She said, no, it's seven wide, but it's like three long. I don't, then I was like mad that we got sidetracked and I was just like I said we cried together um, the kids were coming home from school in an hour so we kind of just were like uh, so I went and stayed at um, her parents house um, because you know I'm keeping my family together at least well, I mean not that bitch but you know I'm still friendly with her dad and stuff so I was over there and everything, and but uh, yeah, so tonight she's not, you know, normally I vlog and we'd vlog together, you've seen that a thousand times, but she's not, she's out of the house tonight, so, um, I mean, I don't even know where to begin, what to do, um, <clears throat> There's only one child here tonight, and the other munchkins are at their grandparents. Um, because she's got soccer in the morning, so I'm going to take her to that, and I guess freaking fat bitch will show up to that, because she always does any other time. So that'll be awkward as all hell. I don't. Maybe she'll bring Ross or Dave or maybe even my friend Scooter. Um, who knows? So, um, I did confront Scooter about it. He did admit everything. He said he has, um, a fetish for morbidly obese women. I thought the fact that she was morbidly obese would kind of get people off her case, but apparently it makes him even more attractive and sexy. He said she had a, um, a foop, a fat upper pussy fat, upper... Uh, above pussy fat, a uh, puffa, puffa, paffa. It's like fat roll that hangs down over her gyneals, and I guess that's what he was talking about. So I mean, I guess when you live in a small town, everybody knows like what your wife looks like and stuff. And apparently, in my case, you know, Maggie was a hot commodity. So, and I was like, I, I, I asked her a little bit about it, like, why, how did this happen, how did we go down the road, she said that I ignored all the warning signs, and that I wasn't intimate enough with her, and I didn't hit it right, and stuff like that, and I was like, I did notice all the warning signs, like, I noticed that there are nights when you'll wash it, and there were nights when you'll just let it stink like rotten fish. So I assumed when you washed it, that meant you wanted laid. And she's like, no, I'd, I would only wash it when it would itch too bad. But I wanted laid every night. 
and you would only screw me when I washed it with that little four inch cock she made started making fun of my small penis at that point and I know I'm probably giving you TMI right now but as my faithful subscribers our subscribers this is our channel I guess it's going to be my channel now because I did change the password on that bitch. And no, it's not seven. Um, but uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to change the password to whatever my new girlfriend's cup size is or her bus size. How about that? If I could ever get one. The neighbor girl always flirtations with me. So maybe I'll just straight up ask her to take over as mom of the house. Well, when she turns 18, she can. Um, but no, I didn't ignore the obvious signs that were right in front of me. I, well, I guess I, it's not that I ignored them. I guess I just didn't understand what they meant. Like when she put the dogs in another room and locked them up, apparently that meant she wanted sex because we've tried making love a few times with the dogs in the room and they'll straight lick your butt while you're trying to get at it and when i'm up on my maggie you know that like my feet and hands barely touch the bed on either side because it's like surfing in a way and the dog will, will take advantage of that because i can't really set necessarily pivot and run away from them so anyways i gotta go i'm gonna go Probably kill Scooter, and uh, after that, I'm going to go talk to that neighbor girl and see what she thinks about getting with a guy in his 40s with the kids and all that, but I am a YouTube personality, and I'm an internet celebrity, so that should hopefully like make the age gap not as creepy. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to get Maggie back. I don't know what to do.